what's going on everyone welcome back to another video so today i got a video i've been waiting to do for a long time i've just been trying to find the right pictures to do it today i got some relatable childhood memes now there's a lot of them in here that i personally relate to myself and i hope that you will too if you are not already don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell for notifications and drop a like on this video let's get started on number one we have parts of the playground and what they felt like so let's take a look at this first one so the first one we have is a metal slide and sliding down that will burn your legs, burn you. I remember sliding down that and burning. I don't know why at every playground equipment they had to have one of these slides. I haven't seen one in a minute, but I do remember just touching it in the summertime and feeling like I just put my hand on a skillet. That was no fun at all. Well, the second slide we see here is a yellow slide. Now, I remember this yellow slide. I remember a couple other slides that just attracted static electricity. It didn't matter what kind of clothes you wore because anytime you got on this slide, you were going to get shocked, most likely. The third one we got is the monkey bars, and I just want to show SpongeBob's fingers. Bruh. That's exactly what mine felt like. And the area like in between my fingers started like callousing and like peeling sometimes. That'd be really crazy. And most of the time, the monkey bars would be hot like the slide too. I remember that. I really remember that. And the last one on this picture is... Visible confusion. What is that thing called? I'm not sure what that thing is called. Can someone please remind me what this is called? Because right now, I cannot remember. I do remember getting on here and feeling extremely dizzy afterwards. And I also remember doing something else on the playground that made me dizzy. I think it was, um, I think it was the swings. Not too sure with that. So this picture says, some of y'all ain't read these books as a kid and it really shows. So that's the No David book and that's Rainbow Fish. That's the Caterpillar book. And I'm not sure what that last one is. I think that last one was one that I never read. But I do remember reading these. I remember those Caterpillar books, The Brown Bear, If You Give a Pig a Pancake, or Mouse a Cookie. I loved reading those. Letting your masterpiece dry out on this rack. I remember putting something on there and letting it dry. I don't remember what. I can't remember exactly. But something I also learned that day, the last time I put it on there as a kid, was to write your name on your paper. That was the day, the day that I learned I need to write my name on my paper. Most people in the class were using some similar colors. I didn't realize that everybody was using the same colors. So if it wasn't for me remembering that I did this little brush stroke when I was painting, I wouldn't have been able to tell them apart. So that's the day I remembered to put my name on my paper. Last we got this. Kids today will never know the struggle. So here we got a person trying to put a CD player in their pocket and on the computer, it looks like this person has so many windows open. Then we got the crank to all the windows. Someone I knew had one of the cranks in their car. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you found some of these relatable. I hope you recall back and were like, oh man, yeah, I remember this, I remember this. Cause I was saying that a lot when I was looking at these pictures. A part two is coming pretty soon. I gotta find some more pictures. There's even more. We haven't even touched the surface of all these relatable childhood memes. That actually reminds me of another video I did, which I'll be making a part two of. I'll be dropping the thumbnail right here to that video. So make sure if you haven't watched my previous videos, you go ahead and watch them. Drop a like on this video. Make sure if you haven't seen my story times, I'm done with those for now. But make sure if you haven't seen the last couple ones, you go watch them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.